In episode 4, the scene started with Chiol in bed but cannot sleep because he was thinking about what happened with Heng Siyon, being drunk and ultimately danced with him and both fell to the ground. He find it so hilarious but he couldn't get out of his mind the physical intimacy with her when she danced with him. He was sure that Heng Siyon would regret it in the morning and she did. When Heng Siyon woke up, she realized what she did and was so mortified. She recalled how she grabbed him and lifted him up and how she was spinning him around. When Chiyul went to the nation's best banchan, he didn't see Heng Siyon at first because she was hiding under the counter. Her phone rang and she had no choice but to come out and answered her phone. Her friend Yong Ju was teasing her about how awkward they both were. When Chiyo left the shop, he got a call from Director Kang, the director of the Pride Academy. Meanwhile, Suhui Bangsuwa's mom called a meeting for the moms of the seven students who got approved to join the Med All Care program. Suhui and Siyo Jin, the mother of Sun Jai, exchanged insults at each other. And when Heng Siyon tried to intervene, when Sui was about to physically assault Siyo Jin, she was the one who ended up slapped unintentionally by Su Hui. Chiyo found himself starting to feel fondness towards Heng Siyon. He was always looking forward to the time when he could go to nation's best banchan to buy food and see her. Meanwhile, Bang Sua was crying to her mother and said she wanted to die. Earlier that day in school, Hei Yu went up to level 1 in the regular class, while Bang Sua was lowered to level 2. This hurt her pride, and in order to appease her, Suhui decided to do something about it. She decided to make peace with Siu Jin and planned to get out Hei Yi from the top 7 in the academies med all care program and replaced her with Yang Min, whose mother was a friend of Suhui. Heng Siyon received a call from the Pride Academy that Hei Yi was disqualified from the program and she got confused why. So she went immediately to the academy to clear things up. She was told that it was in the rule that only students who attended in the classes of Chi Yol in the past were qualified in the program, and since Hei Yi did not, she was disqualified. Heng Siyon argued that that rule was not in the requirements when it was announced. However, she presented her argument, the academy's decision was made up. Heng Siyon did everything to plead Hei Yi's case even to the extent of holding a rally with a megaphone on her own in front of the academy, but still to no avail. When Chiyo learned from Director Kang that Hei Yi was removed because the rule was changed, he got angry and decided to drop out of the program as well. A director was pleading with him to reconsider and just to turn a blind eye about it. There was obviously corruption in the academy, and the top brass can be influenced by certain families of the students. When the rumor that Tiol would drop out of the program circulated, the students pleaded with him and he caved in. He just couldn't jeopardize the future of the students. Meanwhile, Heng Siyon banned the Pride Academy and everyone affiliated with the academy to buy food from her shop, and this included Tiol. This created a strain between them. Suhui dropped by at the shop to tell Heng Siyon to leave the All Care group chat, and she felt hurt, but did it. Chiyol could not go to the nation's best banchan to buy food because he was included in the ban, so he ended up not himself because of lack of food. He started to lose concentration while teaching, and Yang Min, the one who filled Hei's slot, complained to the teacher that he wasn't the one he expected, and they argued back and forth. Chiyol asked Yang Min to get out of class. Yang Min was encouraged by friends to post Chiyol's behavior online. 
they also talk about Hei being kicked out of the program to get him in. Sun Jai's strange brother overheard this and he followed Yang Min home. Yang Min was bombarded with BB gun and he ran. He ended up in the balcony and when he turned around, he came face to face with his attacker. He was pushed and fell to the ground and there was lots of blood. He was killed. Meanwhile, Chiyol wanted to end this estrangement with Heng Sion and wanted to help Hei Yi as well. He went to the food shop and talked with Heng Sion about his proposal to teach Hei Yi in private after class. But there was one condition. End of episode 4 Review Episode 4 left us hanging about the condition of Chiyol. Whatever it is, we can only speculate. If Heng Sion agrees to the condition and this news could leak to the moms, there would be lots of tongues wagging about them. What the academy did to Hei Yi made my blood boil. Chiyol did not do anything about this injustice done to her. You know the saying, injustice is done because good men do nothing, or words to that effect. I look forward to the next episode and I hope that something has to be done about injustice and corruption in the academy and that it would be exposed.